Once upon a time, there was a Zen master named Koji, who taught to a small group of students. One day, he explored a famous Zen koan. He began, I shall share with you a fascinating story, a story that explores the depths of our perception and challenges our understanding of reality. It is called The Sound of One Hand Clapping. Master Koji, I've heard of this koan before, but I can't seem to grasp its meaning. What is the sound of one hand clapping? It seems like an impossible question. Ah, Tom, you've stumbled upon a profound inquiry indeed. But fear not. For the path to understanding lies in the journey itself. Allow me to share the story with you. Long ago in ancient Japan, there was a young monk named Sosan. He too struggled to comprehend the meaning of this koan. So he sought the guidance of his master, Zen master Hakuin. Master, what is the sound of one hand clapping? Sosan, close your eyes and focus on the sensation of your hand. Can you feel the warmth? Can you feel the energy flowing within it? Yes, Master, I can feel the aliveness in my hand. Good. Now imagine if you had only one hand. Can you still sense the energy? Can you perceive the sound it creates? But Master, how can a hand make a sound without clapping against something? Precisely, Sosan. The sound of one hand clapping cannot be heard with the ears alone. It transcends the physical realm. It is the sound of pure awareness, the sound of existence itself. So the sound of one hand clapping is not an actual sound, but a metaphor for something deeper? Exactly, Tom. It represents the nature of reality that Zen practitioners seek to uncover. It challenges us to go beyond our conditioned thinking and perceive the world with fresh eyes. In Zen, koans like this are used as tools to awaken the mind, to break through the limitations of conceptual understanding. But how can we reach that level of understanding, Master? Through direct experience, Tom. The journey is not about finding a logical answer, but rather about experiencing a profound shift in consciousness. It is about transcending duality and realizing the interconnectedness of all things. The principles of Zen are woven into this story. They teach us to let go of our attachments to concepts and judgments, to embrace the present moment fully. Just as Sosan's journey led him to a deeper understanding of the koan, our own journeys can reveal the essence of existence. Remember, my friends, Zen is not just a philosophy. It is a way of being a path to uncovering the truth that lies within us and all around us. May your journey through life be filled with wonder and the profound realization that the sound of one hand clapping is the symphony of existence itself. Until we meet again, my friends, may you find peace and enlightenment on your path. Be well.